work, buddy. I'm Mr. Know It All, aka Raymond McCabe. This is Commonwealth of Uncommon Knowledge College. And today we're going to go over a quick primer in Drills 101. Electric drill is a very, very important tool. We have to have them. Uh, we drilling holes in metal, wood, plastic, whatever requires a good product to do it with. Here I've got before you several types. This is a one like you might find in the bottom of the kitchen drawer. It's a very small little uh, Black & Decker type. This is a cordless battery operated. This is a 19.2 volt. You charge them, plug them back in, ready to go. I use it for screwing. I'm going to show you about the screw gun part of the, of the drill products. This is a heavy duty Milwaukee half inch. In other words, it'll take a drill bit that big around half inch up in there so you can drill a big hole. When we get too big, we'll talk about hole saws. <clears throat> this one is, is very powerful. You don't want to bind this tool up. You don't want to catch a drill. It hurts you. We're going to go over and use all of these, as you'll uh, see as you uh, join the university here. We'll uh, help you learn about these tools and how to use them safely and correctly. This one's a hammer drill. When you drill through into concrete, sometimes you have to have an uh, agitating motion to push that drill bit faster. That's the way this gun works. It's a uh, very powerful concrete using drill. I'm going to show, demonstrate right quick how to properly drill a hole in a piece of wood. Well, here's our sample piece of wood. We're going to lay it down. Because this involves things that turn in electric motors, we want to clamp it down so that it doesn't get away from us because it can. It's in a rotating situation. If the drill bit binds, it'll spin that piece of wood, and that can hurt you or knock something over or break something or hurt someone else. And you don't want to do that. We're going to take our drill. We'll get right on the center of that X, and we'll turn our, put our hand up on top up here, keeping everything out of the way and straight. You don't want to start any direction except vertical. Now, vertical is straight up and down. Turn it on. Most drill bits are variable speed. They'll go real slow. It's very important that you have a drill that is equipped to reverse. You sometimes will have to back a drill bit out. All right, here we go. We're going to drill a real quick hole. very long, but when it's important, you can't beat a well-drilled hole. Now here's another safety thing I want to talk to you about, and that's hanging up fabrics. Drilling through carpet, uh, through upholstery materials, into chairs, so on and so forth. Curtains and drapes. Fabric, <clears throat> because of the way a drill bit is made, it will snag on this fabric. Now I'm just going to put it down here and let you see what it'll do. Okay. Now, if your hand is wrapped up or that's your shirt, you're hurt. You're hurt real bad. It's a very dangerous thing, so you never want to get fabric involved with you. Now, if you have a great big hole to drill, and it's something that you need to... Uh, you know, the drill bit is too small for the project, okay? I'm going to demonstrate right quick a hole saw. Hole saws come from about a half inch in diameter, to 14 inches across, so you can drill some amazingly large holes with it. All right, now we're going to drill a hole right through this piece of oak. Let me show you how we do this. You have to keep it again vertical. You can't get it off to the sides. You'll bind the tool, plus it'll wobble and destroy your wood. You can use a slight rocking motion as long as you stay vertical. That'll help you keep the sawdust out of your hole, and it's still going to make exactly the right diameter hole when you bore through. Now, the plug of wood is inside here. I'll show you how to get that out. That's a little trick in itself. Now. When your project requires a hole, you have a nice clean hole to use, okay? Now, to get that piece of wood out of there, you want to uh, take a long screw or a nail, there's a slot in it. You 
push that in there. I like to make sure that it's, there we go. They get in there and they get hot and they swell up. You let it cool for just a few minutes and then it'll come out. And this one's still just a little bit too warm to try to get out. But right now, you've got your basic drills, industrial, down to light home use. When you drill screws, these are the most handy of them all the time, the electric screwdriver. When you have to drill a screw, put a screw in something, you go up, you put it in your, in your tip, you hold it straight up and down, you beat it, it goes right in. Now we're going to join these two pieces of wood together, all right? Now, let's take a screw, grab a hole, let's go right over the side. This piece alone, I don't think it's going to Thanks for coming in and we'll get on the blog and we'll show you a lot of things to do with these. See you later.